stilts to show our viewers a handy way to put up drywall ceiling panels. After that, Al's gonna juggle and bounce a big rubber ball in his nose. <laughs> oh, we'll be working with a 10-foot ceiling today, so I have my stilts set to 36 inches. They're adjustable all the way to 48 inches. Stilts or your belt. <laughs> the advantage to using stilts when drywalling is they do give you height Plus, mobility. <laughs> now remember, each one of these panels weighs 60 pounds, so it's always a good idea to have a good helper. Or if you're in a bind, Tim. <laughs> now, if you don't happen to have a drywall lift like this here, you can hold up your panels with key braces called dead men. Tim, show them what a dead man looks like. <laughs> Well, this is all well and good if you have a traditional 10-foot ceiling. So let's say I want to do a remodel in the 15 foot. Well, I don't think you'd be their first choice as contractor. <laughs> Stick with me, okay? Guys, raise this up to the Sistine Chapel level. Now let's say I want to smooth out those chubby cherubs from wall But the stilts, I'm going to go for 40 inches. That's why I use these. Heidi, my pneumatic drywall still. <laughs> pneumatic drywall stilts? Is there an echo in the building? <laughs> well, just how high can they go? Eyes limp. When I go up, press this lever up. <laughs> Third floor launch ready. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Why, well, I'm very impressed, Tim. Yeah? Reverse the problem. You go down to bargain base, if you picked up that shirt, press here. Yeah. 